if, you, if you're looking for distance, uh, you want to keep, when you come through, you want your front shoulder to be down, okay? Because when you stay down on your shoulder, that, that has a flat release. So many newbies I see that they come through and they're trying to pull so hard, their front shoulder starts coming up and it lowers their disc down. And so when they follow through, they're coming up on a high plane and that sends their disc up in the air, nose up, and it, and it just dies. Step, step long, keep your front shoulder down, and that'll come with a flat throw. Uh, number two, being that I throw lots of rocks, uh, I need to generate lots of snap. I need to have lots of spin on the disc. And so the best way to do that, your wrist has to be cocked uh, when, when you release. So if, if your wrist isn't cocked, you're not going to get any snap. So the best way to keep your wrist cocked on the way through is you want to pull the disc tight to your body. You want to draw a line right across the top of your chest because as it follows through, when your elbow comes out, if you're keeping tight to your body, your wrist, it automatically cocks when you're coming through. You don't, you don't have any choice about it. Either your forearm's going to break or you're, you're going to cock the disc and your forearm's not going to break. Okay, so you pull it through. When you come through, it's, it's locked out. It's ready to go so that you have that snap right there at the end. A lot of guys, when they're trying to make a lot of turn and get a lot of power, they get their arm away from their body and their wrist is wide open. And so when they come through like this, they've already lost all of their ability to have some power. So keep it real tight to your body, pull it across the top, and when you come through, snapping. Uh, so the two tips that, th that this guy gave me was keep my front shoulder down and then to spend a while until it's part of your routine that you want to think right at the end of your shot, you're snapping a towel. You're popping real big right there at the end. And so for a while, I had, to, I had to forget about footwork. I had to forget about everything. I was just thinking, snap the disc, snap the disc, snap the disc. And so I worked on that until it became part of my routine. And then I could start working it back in, start thinking about my footwork and all that sort of stuff, keeping it tight pop it right out there at the end, you can generate all sorts of snap and that's where distance comes from because you need that disc spinning in order to get distance. And so the more spin, the more distance.